Hello everyone, my name is Ira Fay, and I'm excited to show you this game. Whenever I play a game after I finish, I usually try and make a note to myself if I think it may be good for a video. And this is a game from a long time ago, I think more than 10 months ago, that I noted at the time that I played it that it was a good game to review, but it's been so long since then, I actually don't remember anything that happens in this game. So maybe it'll come back to me as I play it, but it might be like we're watching it together for the first time. So this is a game against Wandering Womb, and I'm looking at this game in particular because there is a league that lasts the full calendar year, or almost the full calendar year, and at the end, in mid-November, the the top players from the league are paired in a uh, play in a double elimination tournament for the final league championship. And so I happen to be paired against Wandering Womb, so I thought, hey, this might be a nice chance to come back and look at this game. So in this game, we have two action tokens. I'm playing Shadow, they're playing Free. And I don't remember how we decided who was playing which side, maybe they just expressed a preference or maybe I expressed a preference, I don't know. But in any case, they are free people, I'm shadow, I allocated one eye and rolled another and only one muster. I'm monsters roused, not particularly planning on playing it, but um, Morgul Wound could be useful if they get revealed early. And Cairden Ships is obviously a nice card to have in hand, but nothing playable for them. They did roll two Wills of the West, and this is this is the sort of setup where if you get two movement and a Will of the West, you can use a ring and get Aragorn turn one. So against two eyes with only one muster, um, probably not going to do it because it means if you give Shadow a ring, they will be able to get Sar uh, Saruman turn one, but maybe if they go and get, um, I might, yeah, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what happens. Let's jump in. All right, so they start by passing. I think that's smart. And then look at this. So I muster Sauron to war first action, which um, is a little surprising that I would do that action number one. Like, why don't I draw a strategy card first, shuffle some armies around? Because now what has happened is they can actually get Aragorn turn one without giving shadow uh, a minion turn one even if they give me a ring i can't actually get sauron uh, or the witch king turn one so that's interesting maybe i did it just to just to bait them i don't know all right so they start by drawing a card i guess that makes sense um fair enough fear of fire foes oh my gosh so look at this. Now they don't even have to they don't even have to spend a ring and they can get the north to war right away. What is going on? This could be an exciting game. Okay. So because they have fear fire foes, they can separate companions to something like Cardolan and and then they use fear fire foes to move to the Shire, somebody like Gimli or something like that, to the to the Shire or even a hobbit to Erdluin. And then at the same time Aragorn comes down to um, Drew with Iyar, and then uh, the final move to Dol Amroth, and then Crown in Dol Amroth. So wow, that is an amazing draw. Those were those. There were two possibilities. You could also have drawn um, Book of Mazarbul. That would have been another option. But Fearfire Foes. Wow. All right. So and especially when Shadow gets a slow military start, then that's a real option. Okay, so this is interesting. I guess my thinking was I want to move toward the north with this little army. And what else am I going to do with these characters? I don't know. I could have just shuffled armies around, taken, gone up to do. All right, anyway, let's see what I do. This is amazing. All right, so, wow. So this movement of this army toward Old Forest Road cause them to not get Strider and man, I I would I would go for Aragorn turn one. No rings and the north to war. I guess this army is coming up there, so um you're not gonna be able to use the north to be able to defend Woodland Realm, but okay. It is it is nice to get in there. They don't have any sort of defense, so 
I think at this point, I'm pretty happy as Shadow to be able to get the North to war. Um, so I get a hit. They don't. They get one back. And now they move once and get missed. I draw my strategy card now. I guess I was hoping to reveal them and play Morgul Wound right away. Um, they move again. And I hit them twice and get a two reveal. Obviously, that's nice. Gandalf goes away. And I do play Morgul Wound right here. All right. So, fair enough. I guess next round I'm going to use army movement to take over Carrick and then take over Dale. I mean, this is this is an interesting situation. How would it have been if the North were at war right now? I guess I wouldn't have. I would have attacked the North. Okay, they um, progress the North one towards war. I think that makes a lot of sense because now. Um, if I attack Dale or if I attack Carrick, well, really, if I attack Carrick, then the North goes to war and they can muster into Dale. So this little army in Old Forest Road is not, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't think it's doing its job. Um, yeah, a shadow, I guess I feel like I rushed that a little bit, especially given that they were showing an army movement. Um, I don't know that that was the right option, but maybe so. What would you have done a shadow with that? Excuse me. I think I would have gone for, I mean, it was me, but <laughs> in retrospect now, I, I'm thinking I would have gone for Isengard. All right. So Celeborn's Galadrim is a great draw, and um, I'm happy to see Shadows Gather. That can certainly be useful. I may need to reinforce this army. Oh, now look at that. I can go from Mount Gundabad and capture uh, Carrick along the way. That's pretty sweet. All right. Um, I draw a card here. Okay. Why not just muster Isengard instead of doing the card first? Weird. Okay. And now they, they play Celeborn's Galadrim here. That's interesting. I wonder... I wonder about hiding. Why not hide with that and then move twice? Um, okay. Anyway. All right. So they get King Brand's men. What a great redraw. So that's awesome. I play Lure of the Ring here. That's pretty strong. It does have a pretty high expected value. Close to two. I get Legolas, okay. Legolas goes away. They hide now. I move armies onto them. Am I thinking about playing Monsters Roused? All right, interesting. They're passing. I now muster Isengard. They move the Fellowship. I miss them, which is a little sad for me. I guess I wanted to be able to mess with the Fellowship as they were going over um, Moria. That's why I drew the character card. All right, I, I'm not really making up my mind with the cards. Okay, uh, I move armies towards Gondor. This is a mess of a game. All right, and then they use they use their last action token to muster Gondor. And the thinking there is now I can't get Saruman or else they'll get Gandalf. So I delay getting um I delay getting Saruman. I wonder why I, like is it crazy to muster in Mount Gundabad and then play Shadows Gather? I guess I don't want to leave Mount Gundabad completely open when the North goes to war. But now they're gonna be able to get the North to war with this last die. They may move but they can also just muster the north towards war. Okay, I undo, and instead I muster in North Dunland. All right, so I guess I'm planning on playing Monsters Roused. This is crazy. Okay, they play King Brand's men here instead of just getting the north to war, but I guess that's good. 
and they redraw Faramir's Rangers. And now... All right, so I'm certainly happy to see Day Without Dawn, um, given that... Well, okay, I guess I, I, I forgot I didn't muster uh, Sethrons and Easterling, Easterlings towards war. Um, okay, I feel like Shadow is just all over the place. Free people, what are they going to discard? Maybe an Ent card, I guess we'll see. Yeah, Ent goes away. All right, I allocate one eye. And oh my gosh, look at what I rolled. <laughs> oh my God, that's incredible. Five Palantirs and a single muster. Thank God the elves are not at war because otherwise, look at this, Moria and Old Golder, they could just walk into it. Holy cow. So they can actually, they can muster the elves all the way towards war and then move to Dimrald Dale. I mean, I guess I can muster, muster a little bit before they get there. So thankfully, I actually have some playable cards. Give it to us. I could play Monsters Roused. Shadows Gather. Crazy times. All right, so they start by getting... Yeah, of course. So they get the north to war. And now, now I just can't even attack into Dale. I can't take Carrick. What a crazy situation. Okay, well, I say one out of 64 for zero attacks. Yeah. All right, I play Give It to Us. They muster into Dale. Um... I draw a character card because I'm like, I guess I'm trying to corrupt the fellowship. They move into Woodland Realm, which is beautiful. Look at how nicely they defended Woodland Realm. I mean, it is ridiculous how long it took me to get there, given that I marched this army up there turn one. But, um, wow. Okay. Um, they've defended Helm's Deep. They've defended Woodland Realm. Beautiful. All right. I play on on they went, getting the red tiles in there. And now I draw another card. Okay, Nazgul Search is nice because um, I can reveal them into Moria. If they don't move right now, I can reveal them into Moria. And they pass. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm definitely revealing them into Moria. So they didn't even move once this round. All right, where am I bringing my Nazgul? I'm thinking about... <laughs> yeah, I say, I have no idea where I'm going to attack. All right, so I reposition my Nazgul to Gondor, and now uh, they reveal into Moria, and we draw a three. Wow, so my military is going at a snail's pace, but uh, at least the corruption side is going well all right so let's see who they take are they going to take a random so they do take a random and this is where lure of the ring i guess paid off a little bit uh now one out of five to get strider boom strider holy cow this game was ludicrous i rolled five palantirs i see why i picked this game to show i really don't remember any of this so what what a crazy situation is going on to hit strider right here and that was just a turn of uselessness and by the way, like these sorts of turns can happen for Shadow, particularly when Shadow gets a slow military start. And I think that's all the more reason to go for an early Aragorn when you have that. Um, I don't know. It's hard to know for sure. Like this, they, they defended Woodland Realm so beautifully um, as, a role, as a result of this line of play. And I think if they hadn't, if they hadn't done that, um, then... I just think uh, Woodland Realm would be besieged, but, or maybe not, maybe just Dale and Carrick get taken out. Okay, anyway, crazy luck, crazy luck this game. All right, so um, uh, their action, they obviously hide, and then I muster Saruman. Yep, that makes total sense. Uh, I could get the Witch King. I'm a little surprised I don't get Witch King. I guess I'm thinking I could turn on uh, the Red Arrow. That's the only reason. If I don't really know where I'm attacking yet, I can wait and see and bring the Witch King in where, where I need to. Um, assuming I roll at least one muster next round, which seems likely. Um, and in fact, they do have they do have the Red Arrow. 
So because Gondor is not active, they actually can't play this yet. When the Witch King arrives, they will be able to play this. So it's very minor. Um, okay, so they're going to have to discard. What would you discard? I feel like Power of Tom Bombadil probably goes. Maybe Elven Cloaks goes. I don't know. Heroic Death is such a good effect. Let's see what they discard. And what did I draw? Worn with Sorrow and Toil and Horde from the East. I'm probably getting rid of Little Lissai. Gotta get rid of Little Lissai, right? Okay. And, um, yeah, Power of Tom Bombadil and... I missed it. Okay. Um, they kept the blue tile. Okay. Um, moving on. Fellowship is ready. I allocate one eye and I get no musters. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. So this is, I guess, a reason to have mustered the Witch King because now I can't even get the Witch King. I can't believe at the end of last round I said, as long as I rolled at least one muster. So, um, wow. Just wow. Amazing. And they do get Gandalf. So that's really nice. They get it. Um, they move. Um, I get two hits. And are they going to get revealed out of Moria? Yes. Holy cow. The hunt is going so badly for the fellowship. Um, wow. So two reveal, because I did roll two sixes. They're going to take, a, they just lose Gimli. Sure. Um, they get revealed extra Moria tile. And a one reveal. Okay, at least it's the reveal. They lose a random and get rid of Boromir. Okay, so um, so be it. Now Warnos are in toil is useless. Um, I move Nazgul around now because why? Oh, right, because I want to get this army in position. I don't know. What the heck am I doing? This is the least efficient shadow military I've seen. Look at this. I got a muster in North Dunland. I moved this army up to Old Forest Road. Now I'm moving Nazgul to Far Harad. I mean, I agree. I've had some crazy rolls. Uh, like no army movement and no um, musters this round. But still, there's got to be a more efficient way of doing this past Ira. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? All right. Well, so be it. Um... Yeah, I, I'm say I can't make up my mind. Yeah, we noticed. Okay, so Gandalf shows up in Fangorn. I attack Dale now because what? Okay, I guess I don't want them mustering more there. That's that's not crazy actually to take Dale. Uh, they play scouts. Okay, that's a good play for sure. And um. I got a victory point. Uh, they move into Iron Hills, and then they just mess with me by moving into North Athelion so that Gondor will get activated. And then I draw a card here. What? I guess I feel like Worn with Sorrow and Toil is useless. My plan is just mess, mess, mess with the Fellowship. So... Why not draw a card? I mean, I could also have played some card. Did I? I could have played Monsters Roused. I could have played, I guess I could have played Shadows Gather. I could have played Horde from the East. Nope, I couldn't because they're at war. All right. I don't know what I'm doing here. All right. I got rid of Warner Song and Toil, so be it. The thing is, it's a little tricky about drawing a card there because I'm not going to be able to most likely play cards so i'm gonna end up discarding two next round maybe i'm attacking something uh i guess monsters roused like why not play monsters roused it's something elves aren't anywhere close to war and they don't have musters and i did muster here in north dunland maybe my plan is to go for the four cities i have no idea Okay. Uh, moving. Okay, so I moved to Far Harad to Near Harad. That's fine. If you don't have any army movement, they play Elven Cloaks. And then I move one army to West Rondor from Near Harad. What am I doing? Am I going for Gondor now? 
what what about this army from minus Morgul? Maybe get that army going somewhere. Whew. And I didn't play Isildur's main because I was waiting for them to hide. All right. Um, they have five dice. Wow, I got Nazgul Strike, and then I drew Corsairs of Umbar. Yeah, that's why you don't necessarily go to Western Rondor. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Okay, and now what am I going to discard? I mean, that's a tough hand. What the heck do you discard? Given that I'm I'm so focused on military, I mean, on on the ring, I'm almost certainly keeping Nazgul Strike and Isildur's Bane. Corsairs of Umbar is incredibly good. Uh, especially given that the elves aren't at war yet. So fighting Urk High is always good, but I don't, I guess I could get rid of that. Maybe I discard Day Without Dawn and just then never play it. All right, let's see what they draw. Book of Mazarbul, Mirror of Galadriel. What am I going to discard? Day Without Dawn, fighting Urk High. Okay. I think that makes sense. Obviously, fighting Urk High is very powerful, but if I'm not actually attacking with those units anytime soon... I don't know. Maybe that's done because I could go. I could do monsters roused, and end up going up to take um, Rivendell. I think I'm worried about like leaving uh, Moria and Dol Guldur completely open if I go put the elves to war by attacking Rivendell. So I think maybe I'm not planning on doing that, and that's why. And I'm planning on going for the Shire, Shire Dale, and then eventually Rohan and Gondor. And that's 10. All right. Allocate one eye. Also, maybe if you're going for a military, I mean, uh, if you're going for uh, corruption, maybe you allocate a second eye when you can't. I don't know. Um, yeah. Odds are they're only going to get two and a half movement. And so it doesn't make a lot of sense uh, if they have to hide first. All right. So they hide. And now I play Isildur's Bane, and I think I play it with a character because I'm planning on just drawing more character cards. All right, so they get finally a slight bit of good luck by uh, me drawing an eye there. And I say, that's a bit of good luck. Okay, so um, I draw a card, okay. That's Orc Patrol. They muster the elves. Yeah, I got to worry a little bit about Lorien going crazy. And then I play Orc Patrol and another eye. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That was unlikely. That was definitely unlikely there. Two eyes in a row from those tile drawing cards. Wow. Okay. So they're mustering the elves. I think that makes a lot of sense. I mean, they have cared in ships. So uh, finally, I get the Witch King. Way to go, Witch King. And then they use a ring. They use a ring right here because they want to get into Lorien, I guess, and heal up. A two and a two. So I miss them. So the hunt luck has turned. I'm moving armies. Okay. They play Faramir's Rangers. Beautiful. Um, and then I say, what a mess militarily. Yeah, you don't say. This is a complete mess. Uh, <clears throat> all right. I move armies. What am I doing? I move armies from East Rune to Vale of Karnan and then from Morinon to Daggerlad. This is some of the most inefficient shadow military I've seen. I guess this is great. So I don't know. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe I just got off on the wrong foot going to Old Forest Road too soon. And then because they defended it well and I had some awkward rolls, I shifted to Gondor, but then they were ready in Gondor also. And then I don't really want to leave Lorien unchecked. Wow. All right. So I undo that idea. And instead I move into Moria. I move those two units back to Moria. What am I doing? What am I doing? I genuinely don't know what I'm thinking there. What is that? I'm going after Lorien? I'm just like, I better defend Moria because... I mean, I guess it's not totally crazy. It's a little crazy. I think that's a little crazy. To move those two units from Holland into Moria? I'm just going to go after Lorien? I don't know. All right. 
King is revealed, ring rates are brought. I'm getting great cards. These are totally good cards. I finally get rid of Monsters Roused, decide to not go after Rivendell. Uh, I have nine dice for the first time on turn six. Obviously, that is a bit late. Um, or I don't know, maybe I had seven, nine dice this time. I don't know. Okay. Um, I didn't see exactly what they got rid of there. Uh, the Fellowship does declare in Lorien. Okay. I guess I didn't want to use my ring to play Nazgul Strike. And so now I'm thinking I'm going after Lorien. All right. Two more eyes. They get a great roll. Mirror of Galadriel. To heal one. Wow, cool. So they played Mirror of Galadriel to heal one. And then they change uh, they change a character die to a Will of the West. All right. And then I get uh, the South Rounds and Easterlings towards war. And then they move. Okay. So that was cool. That was a really nice, efficient um, healing. Two, two points of healing for declaring in Lorien. And then they move out and they don't get hit. All right. I move armies. I go to Umbar. They muster the elves to war using a Will of the West. And now I use Sauron's mustering ability to get three regulars again. And then they move again, and I hit them, but they don't get revealed. Both hobbits end up in Lorien, and now we have Gollum. I play Ringwraiths are abroad to move some Nazgul around. I really genuinely cannot make up my mind. Uh, I move two armies. Okay, so is this a big enough army in Dale now to take out Erebor or Woodland Realm? Obviously, Erebor is a little easier. I guess this army in North Dunland is coming in to attack. Uh, where? I don't know. Maybe I'll march all the way over to Grey Havens. What is my plan? All right. Um, they get Gondor all the way to war. And then I play Corsairs, hoping that they don't have Cirdan ships, though it seems like they probably have Cirdan ships. I leave one behind just to be safe. Um, they draw. They're probably going to get rid of axe and bow and what? Help unlooked for? Axe and bow and... Okay, maybe I just had to get rid of one. Um, Flocks of Crabane and Denethor's Folly. Okay, maybe I'm going after Minas Tirith. Don't know what I'm doing. All right. I um, allocate an eye. I don't roll any more eyes. And they get some nice movement. They start by playing Cairden ships. Obviously correct. And I muster an elite into North Dunland. They move the fellowship. And I get a hit this time. Uh, zero, reveal, and it's Gollum, so not revealed. So can't get better than that. Um, I play Shadows Gather, an army up to three, but I just moved it only two. So that was a waste, slight inefficiency, but okay. They muster into Lorien, and then I attack Lorien. Wow. All right, so this is a nine hit point army with two companions in it, but I am now on top of the fellowship. So maybe this army has a chance of taking out their army. Probably not, almost certainly not, but at least I've now messed with the fellowship. Um, and now I get an extra reroll. So, but I hit again and this time we hit the last eye. That's the only, that's the only tile in this whole pool that could reveal Gollum 
nothing else reveals. Now, maybe with a three, they might have, or even one of these other ones, they might have chosen to get revealed to reduce the corruption. But obviously, that is not great luck. Um, and they were at four movement. One, two, three, four. Okay, they couldn't have made it in this round anyway. All right, so they get revealed. Um, and there they go. And now I upgrade units in Orthanc. I upgrade units in Orthanc again. I play Horde from the east. Uh, I move units into uh, Iron Hills and get prepared to make the attack into Erebor. And then they muster a regular into Pilar gear and a leader into Minas Tirith. I think that makes sense. And then I attack Erebor. Okay. I don't know that this army is big enough to take out Erebor, but all right. Um, they get Mithril Coat and Sting, which is obviously excellent. And what are they going to get rid of? Maybe help unlooked for? Yep, help and look for. Okay, I got half, half orcs and goblin men. Very useful, though I don't have any elites right now to spend it on. Um, but that's good. Also happy to see the red tile. So um, I have not yet drawn a... Um, I haven't drawn um, crew weather yet. So obviously I would like to draw that. I'm an anticipating cycling with the Witch King, uh, Flocks of Crabane. So we'll see that happening, um, and we'll see. So I allocated one eye, rolled two more, and um, they get a nice amount of movement. They start by hiding, uh, and I attack into Erebor. I play Flocks of Crabane. They play Heroic Death. Um, I get two hits, though, so that's nice, and they get none. So obviously that is a good start for me. And I'm guessing I don't press because I just want to cycle, cycle, cycle. All right, Foul Thing from the Deep. Obviously it's nice to get something like that. Um, I also have Nazgul Strike, but I only have one character uh, result this round. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. They move and get hit and I get the three. So this is obviously increasing their corruption. Do I play? I don't know what I play here. I guess I play Nas. There, there's no way that they're actually getting revealed. Like literally it's impossible to reveal them with Gollum. So I guess I just play Foul Thing because it's guaranteed something's going to hit. Um, so I play Nazgul Strike here. Why not wait until next round? I guess the idea is that next round, if they move, they can choose to reveal with Gollum because that way they're safe from cruel weather. They get the extra tile, but they're safe from cruel weather. And by playing it in this order, I definitely get to um, roll and probably four dice on fives is enough anyway for Nazgul Strike. Um, and I relocate, and now I get my fifth um, leadership in Erebor. All right, so I do that, and then I get one hit, which is obviously good for me, and I get a one. So they just take one more corruption. Um, and... What happens? Okay, so they just, uh, they didn't take the corruption and instead they hid. So that's that's very interesting. Um, and now they play Mithril Coat and Sting because they know that they're safe from um, Nazgul Strike and therefore that's a totally safe play, which is great. I attack into Erebor. I don't know exactly what I'm going to play here. Um... I think I want to use Foul Thing from the Deep as a um, as a card effect. So, yep, I play a strategy card, Relentless Assault. I kill two and get four hits. So that's obviously good. And they take one. And um, 
I press and that's that. So I did manage to take out Erebor. Uh, obviously it was a reasonably good luck, but okay, they hide and now I, um, so they're in a situation now where I have a ring. Um, I think they're going to be forced to, if they, do, if they don't get hit, um, they're going to have to reveal themselves, I think, into Morinon. All right, so I do, I, I cover them up because I think they're still going to have to reveal, even if I get hit, even if I hit them. Um, I come to Dale with the intention of taking out Woodland Realm, I guess. Yeah, just to keep Woodland Realm under control. And uh, they have to use their ring. And uh, I roll for the hunt. I get a hit. It's a zero reveal. And now this is a chance. That's funny. So they can't actually reveal themselves. That's the one tile they weren't hoping for. Because now if I have Cruel Weather, it actually is going to work. But what's amazing is that I don't have Cruel Weather. So um, the zero means that they're taking no damage and therefore you can't use Gollum's ability to reveal yourself and protect yourself from Cruel Weather. I want, I don't think they're possibly going to use Mithril Coat and Sting here, um, but it would be hilarious if they do. Oh, oh, wait, wait, hmm? Wait. What? Well, I can switch the tile, then reveal it to prevent cruel weather. I hadn't thought of that. Can you reveal with Gollum? I'm doing it. Oh my gosh. On the zero tile? What? Oh, oh my God. This is incredible. Okay. You sure? Right. Because so what happened was I had cleared the tile because I just hadn't thought of that, I guess, during the game. And I didn't have cruel weather. I wasn't trying to rush them. Um... This is totally valid way of guaranteeing protection from cruel weather. Um, the thing is, Mithril Coat and Sting is so powerful when you're on the Mordor track to be able to avoid a red tile. And I already have quite a few red tile, two red tiles in there. So I might have just risked them not having cruel weather in exchange I get to keep Mithril Coat and Sting. I mean, obviously it's bad, but but Shadow Military is going slow enough, I think. Like, you did manage to defend Woodland Realm pretty well. Dol Amroth is pretty good. You have Aomer for um, Aomer and Scouts and uh, for, for Helm's Deep, and you have um, f f nine hit points and two companions with three leadership in, in Lorien. So, um, if you get stalled, you obviously don't want to get stalled, but maybe you, maybe you got to risk it. Okay. Anyway, that's a tough call. I, I, I respect this place. I think this, you know, you don't want to get stalled. It's, it's very bad to get stalled by cruel weather. And I definitely had, you know, better than 50% chance of having it. So, okay. Um, so they use it. Obviously that's huge for me, right? I'm so happy to see that because this is exactly what I want. I'm going to get an extra tile. Um, this is just amazing. So, um, wow, holy cow. So they're going to have to reveal with a three. They take two damage. They get revealed. They take an extra tile from the, um, the, wow. They get an extra tile from the stronghold. But I say, I think the zero goes back in before we draw the stronghold tile, which I think is the correct way of playing it. So we put the zero back in. Now they're revealed because that, that zero was from Mithril Coat and Sting. Now they're revealed and um, I draw the two. So that was the absolute most corruption they possibly could take. They went from zero to five or really four in reveal. But holy cow. All right, so they're now at eight corruption revealed going into Mordor. And I think I'm going to play Foul Thing because I, I don't want to risk drawing an eye or a red tile. And this is all like guaranteed good. Either I get rid of a zero or I do an extra corruption. Yeah, and I have enough rings. So there we go. So there's a ring and I draw the one. All right, so they're at nine. It is going to be very tough they ask if i had cruel weather um and i think maybe i didn't see it um 
I, I didn't answer them. I would have answered them in game. Um, or maybe I just didn't answer because I didn't want them to feel bad. Um, phew, that was crazy. All right. So they're starting up their healing. That's good. So they healed two from Bilbo's song. They were very patient. They held that for a long time. So that was well played. I get the mouth. Um, they hide. I play the ring is mine. And I use the character for it, the character uh, die for it, so that I can draw more, I guess, with um, with this Palantir. Though, once I do, how am I going to play it? I don't know. All right, they move the Fellowship, and they get an eye to reveal. All right, I guess not as bad as a red tile. They didn't have quite enough time to also play Smeagol Helps Nice Master, I guess. Um, I'm attacking Lorien. What am I doing attacking Lorien without bringing other people in? I guess my plan is attack now, kill off some of these elites, play Shadows on Misty Mountains, and then bring in more reinforcements, including with the mouth. I don't really know what I'm doing here. Why am I making an attack against Lorien with only two leadership? I, okay, whatever. I guess I didn't want to risk. I didn't want to risk something horrible in Woodland Realm, and I didn't draw any. I didn't roll any. Or I didn't roll enough characters to reposition the Witch King. Maybe instead of playing that um, red tile with a character, I should have played it with the Palantir, and then used my character to move to Lorien if I'm trying to still make some military progress. Uh, okay, I played Durin's Bane. Obviously, that's a good thing to do. If the Witch King were over there, I'd get to cycle an extra card. So, all right. Um, I get, uh, yeah, so they get Sudden Strike first. They do two to me. Then the Balrog goes and does one to them. Um, and then I get one hit, which is about what you'd expect. And they get zero hits on eight dice on fives that is lucky for me okay i do one to them and then i press i guess i just want to get rid of an elite i guess that's what i'm thinking yeah so my plan is kill off an elite and then play half orcs and goblin men over in woodland realm so that I can then play Devilry of Orthanc, Devilry of Orthanc to take out Woodland Realm. I I guess that's my plan. That's not a crazy plan. And maybe I get some crazy luck in Lorien. Okay, so I get two hits. They get four hits. So that's reasonable. Um, and I never really expect. I guess I didn't really expect to take Lorien. Um, they pass. I play half orcs and goblin men up in woodland realm. Okay, so so I'm starting to get my shadow military together. It's only turn nine. Um, three victory points on turn nine. Okay, and then I use the mouth to attack in woodland realm. I get to play devilry of orthanc. They play daylight. Very nice. I get no hits. They get two hits. That's obviously not great for me, and I don't press. Um, they muster more in, okay, Carrick and Pilar gear. And then I try Woodland Realm again. I have another Devilry of Orthanc. Um, and maybe maybe I should have saved that and gone for Minas Tirith. I don't know. There's a real standoff here in Gondor, and they're just sort of mustering up slowly. So... Um, I guess with my combat cards, I felt like, and a lot of actions, I felt like I had a chance to take out Woodland Realm. It definitely feels a little, a little dubious. Um, I got two hits. They get two hits. And what's going on? All right. So it's looking pretty tough for me. I don't think I can really take that out. Um... They muster more in Carrick and more in Minas Tirith. And I play Shadows on Misty Mountains. Okay. I'm going to try and take Lorien. Super, super slow. All right, then we go to next round. 
Um, I roll two more eyes. That's obviously good. They um, try and decide what to do. Okay, they're going toward... They go, they move to Old Forest Road. That's really nice. And also um, Arnor or Etmore's okay. And then I attack Old Forest Road because I don't want them liberating Dale. I also don't want them going to Dole Golder. So um, I attack and I happen to have Swarm of Bats by now. So I'm almost certainly playing that. Yeah, so I play Swarm of Bats into their scouts, and um, I get enough hits, they get one back. So um, that's okay, and then I redraw New Powers Rising. Obviously, that's good for me. Uh, they play Smeagol Helps Nice Master with a Will of the West. That's a little surprising to me. I guess they're still scared of um, Day Without Dawn. Okay. Makes sense. I play New Powers Rising, and uh, my uh, it's something to be aware of. My uh, Isengard Force Pool is now empty, completely empty. They draw a card. There's another way. Obviously, they're happy to see that. That could keep them alive. I muster in Rune. So I guess my plan is to merge these armies up um, in South Dunland, North Dunland, Moria, and then take out Lorien, and then bring these units from North Rune into uh, Woodland Realm. I don't know. I also feel like I could try Dol Amroth. Um, yeah, I, I'm over building because I don't need to take Lorien and Dol Amroth. And do I need to take all of those? And Helm's Deep? Like, look at this. I have a gigantic army in Orthanc. Okay. Um, so I use the Mouth of Sauron to move armies as expected, and then I move armies again. No, I undo that. I draw a character card. Okay. Um, now the Fellowship hides. I move armies again. They draw a character card. All right, they're just slow playing it. I think that makes sense. If um, free people are going to go that, I mean, if Shadow is going to go that slowly. Um, all right, so I reinforce uh, Lorien. I draw another red tile. They're going to get rid of I will go alone. Or I don't know, I will go alone can be used in Lorien. But what do you get rid of? I guess Horn of Gondor. I didn't see it. Um, or one of the... Yeah, I will go alone. So they got rid of I will go alone. Yeah, I don't know. Do, do you care about Horn of Gondor more? Or do you care about Daring Defiance? I feel like Daring Defiance is more... It is more defensive. Um, so I would be inclined to keep that given you actually have companions there. All right, I roll. I still get two more eyes. They were waiting for me to roll fewer eyes so that eyes become safer, but... Um, an eye is going to potentially kill them. I'm guessing they're going to play. There's another way. Okay, so this way, and I will not kill them. Uh, they heal one and then draw a. No. Oh, yeah, they draw a. This is exciting. I. Okay, so three and reveal. Uh, and do I have anything that finishes them off? No, I don't. Um, So I move armies all the way, merged up. They uh, play We Prove the Swifter to bring Gandalf into Lorien, which is interesting because now I know that I'm safe from Ents and I can bring this full army out of Orthanc. Probably would have done that anyway, but still, that is interesting. Um, I attack Woodland Realm. I guess I don't want to use... I'm, I'm saving my last ring. I do want to play She Loves Lair, but... Okay. Um, I'm going to try and cycle into a card that does corruption damage to the Fellowship directly. Um, like Candles of Corpses, maybe. That's not that likely with Gollum. Or um, 
I think I already maybe breaking in the fellowship. I think it hasn't been played yet. So that's in the deck. Um, okay. So they play confusion here. I have foul stench. This is the battle in woodland realm. Uh, it's really about mostly about a corruption game, but I do need to make, you know, reasonably steady progress on military. Also, um, I get two hits and they get none. And I press at this point, drawing Grand, and oh no, I don't press. Okay, got it. I didn't press there. They draw a character card and got Dead Men, not very useful. I'm attacking Woodland Realm again just to keep making progress. I have um, Dreadful Spells, which can be useful, but I think I'm just going to cycle it to try and get into a different um, character card. I play Devil Reel of War, think, yep. And then they sudden strike me in Woodland Realm for one. But uh, now I manage, well, only one more hit back at them. They get three back at me. So this is not going well. Uh, I draw into the Palantir. They're continuing to pass, which is interesting because if at any point I've draw, I draw breaking, I will defeat the fellowship so you know it's very unlikely that they're going to make it you know through <laughs> they need to draw like the negative one and the zero and this one uh to be able to or the zero to be able to make it through but um still i guess they're just hoping that i don't have it i mean so far it's true i'm continuing to tag into woodland realm they only have two uh units left uh, because I want to cycle my character cards and get Breaking of the Fellowship. Um, so I managed to defeat it. They do two back to me. And um, there we go. There's Breaking of the Fellowship. So if they pass again, then I, I will be able to, um, or if they leave the Fellowship revealed. So they move some units to Pilar, Gear, and Carrick, and then I finish them off with Breaking. So maybe they had just given up at that point because they had such ridiculously horrible luck um, with the hunt. So yeah, this was an interesting game. Quite a few unexpected, lopsided um, results. I um, I feel like I did not play that well in terms of um, my military strategy, and I think they ended up defending really well and just got I think pretty unlucky with uh, many of the combats, uh, certainly with the hunt. Um, I did have some really awkward dice rolls. So let's look at statistics. Um, so I was plus three on sixes in the end. So that's obviously good for me. Um, you know, it turns out, it looks like things ended up balancing out pretty well. Um, yeah, nothing too crazy. I mean, they were a little high on wills and a little low on characters, but, um, you know, sometimes having high on wills is not actually good because you worry about um, Day Without Dawn. So, yeah, I think the luck in terms of the action rolls probably balanced out pretty well. Um, so that was the game. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I will be playing them for the uh in in the league championship tournament and hopefully we'll have a, as interesting a game as this have a good rest of the day